I always say that do we really ever actually find balance, which is why we put the title on here today is like balance or is that just bullshit? Because, <laughs> you know, we, we strive for this thing that is outside of ourselves. that in the life that we're living, like it's just another form of a suffering cycle when we try to put the expectation that we're actually able to get in balance because you know what? It's about being in the flow, right? And I always talk about yeah. Money is like the, a current because it comes, you know, the word currency comes from the word current and yeah. how you flow is so important. Like it could be rapids, it could be smooth stream, but it's about yeah. the current and, and, and that's where you have to flow. And when you're living in the present moment and you're living in the here and now and not in the past or the future too far, then you actually yeah. are in the flow and, and there really isn't balance there. It's more of flow. Yes. So we are setting up. We are getting our YouTube live for me and Nam. We are rocking and rolling today. What's up, guys? Hey. Welcome. So we are setting up. We are getting and I needed to pause <laughs> that because nobody needs to hear that in oh, unison man. at the exact same time. <laughs> yeah. Get used to this technology is uh it's a absolutely learning time. Time. <laughs> well Woo. just again, you know, I am Julie Murphy and I am financial therapist, healer, all around trying to help you birth your soul and to align exactly where it's at and stop working out and acting out our stuff through our money or through our health. And my partner in crime here is? I am Nam Bazakis, a spiritual bodybuilder, and I am a health coach. Really, I kind of do the same thing Julie does, but with physical well-being and nutrition, bringing all that stuff together. But they're all equally as important, and we are all going through a massive amount of transformation. I think being able to get a good grip on both sides is super important, so that's why we are here. We are Talks absolutely here. <laughs> yes, we we are. are making it all work. <laughs> <laughs> so, Julie, you and I were talking earlier um, about this balancing act that um, we, we have do going do a on. We do balancing act, don't we? <laughs> we do, yeah. And I was telling, I was telling Julie about how you know I'm. Uh, do we work with kids, uh, Julie? Do you work with kids? Well, I, I have I like kids. About, I yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes, she has. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I, some if you want to borrow any at any time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, so we're talking about this idea of balance, right? And with all this change going on on the spiritual level, the physical level, like, you know, financial level, jobs, you know, all over the place, everything is, right. is going on. And I even, I've been ha finding it difficult to maintain my balance we Even really though things are going fairly well, I'm not like afraid per se, but totally. there's so much change going on that it's difficult to stay grounded sometimes and like maintain that balance. So, well, and, you know, you. I always say that do we really ever actually find balance, which is why we put the title on here today is like balance or is that just bullshit? Because, <laughs> you know, we, we strive for this thing that is outside of ourselves that in the life that we're living, like it's just another form of a suffering cycle when we try to put the expectation that we're actually able to get in balance because you know what? It's about being in the flow, right? And I always talk about yeah. money is like the, a current because it comes, you know, the word currency comes from the word current and yeah. how you flow is so important. Like it could be rapids, it could be smooth stream, but it's about yeah. the current and 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 that's where you have to flow and when you're living in the present moment and you're living in the here and now and not in the past or the future too far then you actually are in the flow and and there really isn't balance there it's more of flow and and i'm not talking about a woman's monthly cycle when you're talking <laughs> <laughs> no no we don't want to that's that's getting messy because everybody has money. their own flow <laughs> no um I personally do not work with children, um, Mama Jody, um, but uh, with counseling, coaching, no, I think that we're more of like on the adult realm. Um, but so would you say it's safe to say that uh, 
ultimate balance is equivalent or parallel to flow state. Maintaining that flow state would essentially be maintaining balance. Well, when you're in the flow, things are easy and they're aligned and you're energized and you're giggling and it's feeding your heart and your soul. And it's like yeah. when, when time just goes by super fast because you're really in your passion and your purpose. And that's actually that when like optimal health shows up. And that's also when your financials also align and your relationships work out. Like it's all about that. Yeah, I, I agree 100%. Like we were talking about earlier, the, the seesaw effect where, you know, life is going to bring us, yep. it's sort of like a, a dancing game. It's like a dance, right? We have to choreograph. We have to learn to dance with our shadow. We have to dance with the higher vibration. We have to just dance around. Everywhere. And you don't necessarily have to get jiggy with it and get down and dirty. <laughs> it can actually uh, be fun. <laughs> yeah, if you have a bad white guy dancing like me, then, you know, that's okay. No bumping and grinding. Like, <laughs> with that, that kind of dancing, we're done with because those are suffering cycles, right? True. Yes. Like and we don't we want to... the idea is 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 to identify those suffering cycles within so that we can face them and transform them. You know, I was just talking about it earlier today, the fact that um, we all have these limiting belief systems. And these limiting belief systems actually cause us to hit ceilings in whatever it is that we're trying to work out in our lives. And we don't even realize when they're playing havoc with us half the time. But I can tell you that by us being quarantined and stuck in our houses, hmm, um, we're right. all being shown that a lot. Yeah, here we go. And also- um, out. So we've got Nan's you know, <laughs> Instagram, I'm live on Facebook, and we're trying to get everybody to go on YouTube if that's possible because that is the easier exactly for most people myself and julie are both growing our youtube channel so you know go subscribe to my channel as well spiritual bodybuilder i greatly appreciate it and also check out my opportunity community spiritualbodybuilder.com check it out okay but anyways <laughs> back to the balance so you saw yourself doing this thing it's it's so interesting because i know a lot of people right now are like going through massive relationship shenanigans right like People are breaking up or like stuff's coming out or all, people are all of a sudden realizing, wait, I'm really not happy in this relationship. Right. So right. I want to go, right? right? So, and then we act it out in our emotions. Then we can't sleep or then we, we just want to eat to make ourselves like emotional eating is huge. It's absolutely, absolutely. huge. So yeah, what can it's we not do easy. To, to sidestep that? Right. Well, and then today what I made sure I did is I got up, you know, early and I made sure that I did my... Um, yoga class this morning and then plus I made sure I got 11,000 steps today yeah, and yeah. you know uh -huh. I just make sure that I got the exercise in and today I made sure I ate right on track again and it's Beautiful. like we get off the horse but you just got to jump back on because it's this constant movement uh, and, and and in the flow but yeah woo, woo, it's that dance again right Julie, Julie you just messaged me <laughs> wow, you're magic. Do, do. Magic. All right. <laughs> so oh, I think we're both showing. Oh, sweet. Okay. So you and I are both shown on your YouTube, apparently. <laughs> yes, we are both on All the right. YouTube. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> that okay. is the way that we are supposed to <laughs> so, be. So much stuff. Uh, I love it. It's great. Yeah. So so I found that um when when we're going through this shift or this raising vibration and we're growing and learning. Sometimes we can tend to be pulled in a certain direction and, you know, we fully immerse ourselves. Like in the last week, I have fully immersed myself into this growth and potentiation of my business, right? Because right. like it's finally coming together and I finally feel aligned with it and it's just naturally happening. But in a way, it's sort of taken my energy away from my physical, um, you know, my, my physical fitness. But I know that I'll bring it back to myself. And once I get this new energy sort of stabilized, it'll come back and I'll start to bring that back in one little piece at a time. And I think Absolutely. that's the key to, to going with these pieces. You sort of, you go out, you expand, you grab this piece, you bring it in, and then you create that new level of foundation and then you solidify it. And it has to travel through all the different bodies, you know, like the etheric body, the astral body, the emotional oh, body, body yeah. the physical yeah. body. Yeah. And once it finally goes, it's also, I don't know if you ever, if you listen to Caroline Miss, but she talks about how we process information going through the crown chakra down to the root and then the root back up to the crown. Right. 
right? Well, and so, I think the other thing that's really that. important for people to realize is that it may sound like a bunch of mumbo jumbo to a bunch of people, um, especially if you're first you know, exposed to these things. Maybe. But, but because it's a mass awakening, right? People are starting yeah. to wake up and it's like, well, what does that mean? And, and so yeah. we have to realize that through everything that we're saying here is that it all has to do with energy and it all has to do with vibration. Right. And so Einstein proved that everything is energy and energy is neither created nor destroyed. It only changes form. Amen. So, yeah. <laughs> and so when that occurs, we just have to realize that the physical level on the energetic level is the last place that it actually shows up, which can be frustrating. Like for me, right. for years, it's been, you know, my health and, and carrying extra weight. And the fact that that's the last place that it fixes itself at, you're like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> like it fixes it on the money front before it actually fixes, fixes it on the physical front. Right. Absolutely. You know, yeah, and and, it's and, really and, important and, to recognize these patterns, I think. And, and I think we're conditioned to, you know, we're, we're marketed to get that instant gratification, right? right? That like, I feel it now, so I want to take action on it now. But when you, you going through the process and not getting the result right away is part of learning to trust the process also. When we're, when we're elevating our, our frequency, right? Like it feels like chaos. It feels like, you know, like we're losing our mind. We don't even know who we are. We feel lost. We feel frustrated and lonely. But we, as we go through that process, you get to a point where you're like, you know what? There's nothing I can do about it anyway, so I'm just going to let go. Justin, can we talk about actually like um, that trusting piece, right? Oh, yeah. So people are not feeling that there's a lot of things that they can trust these days. So true. Well, I mean, look at everything that's going on. We're being lied to from every angle. Okay, but let's not focus on, let's not focus on the lies, right? Let's okay. focus on how do we build trust and how do we, you know, so and it's not even necessarily about building trust. It's about um, who it's trusting your intuition. Right. Like if you're going to your head to evaluate things. If you're going right. to your mind and your ego going, well, what about this? And what about that? And what about this? That means you right. hold your energy up here and you're going, dee, 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 right. and you're trying right. to process it through in our ego mind. Right. And I think it's super important for people to realize that we have to bring it back into our hearts. And that goes back to our guts. Yes. You know, like, what does our gut tell us? And that's okay, what you have to trust. Amen. Like that's <laughs> what you need to trust the most right now. Right. Like, Absolutely. We've been given this gift of being quarantined to start to build that muscle of your own intuition and your own gut. And right. trust, like if you're drawn to something, you need to keep moving towards that something, yeah. even if it doesn't make logical sense. Like there was zero logic this weekend in terms of inviting my ex-husband back into my house, right. you know, after everything that's happened, but something told, my gut told me it was going to be a gateway to healing and I followed it and it happened and it was beautiful. beautiful. And my kids were beautiful. giddy. Beautiful. My son has probably thanked me 15 times for oh, opening up that gateway. And that's worth everything, everything. Oh, yeah. You don't necessarily know how you're going to get there, but just know no, you that don't. you're walking through the gateway. And just like when you were telling me the first time I met you this January, right? Yeah. I met you and you're like, well, you got to give up gluten and dairy. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> right. Because that's what everybody says, right? Exactly. But you said, just trust me. I'm going to throw you through a couple loops. And you're like, just trust me. And something told me that I could trust that. You know, yeah. And, yeah. and and I'm grateful because I'm like 30 pounds lighter now. And I feel fantastic. Yeah. Hello. Hell yeah. But I'm my like cheekbones that, again. That, <laughs> that trust factor right there that I think a lot, I mean, even like I've caught myself getting, you know, a little bit in my head about stuff, you oh, know, yeah. it, yep. I, no matter which way you go, it's like these these cords are trying to pull you in all these different directions. So it's really important. And even I'm saying to myself too, like come back to heart center, come back to, you know, your heart space. And if you have to dis every now and then we have to disconnect, even if we're doing all this stuff. Right. Um, so Sid city sin said, uh, this is true. Trust your gut, but some people aren't in tune or connected like that, or even they might feel they are doing 
judgment off of their gut. And that's the process of awakening. It's the process of becoming aware. Yes. You have to become aware in order to trust, right? And as you become more balanced, that's when your gut microbiome will shift. And as your gut shifts, your mind shifts because your gut speaks to your mind through through the bacteria. Well, and I uh, always tell voice. and I always tell people it's like building a muscle. You know, oh, even yeah. if you're not used to trusting your gut, it's like building a muscle. And it's like I tell my kids all the time, like, are you giving your safe, giving yourself a safe space to learn? Right. And you learn something. You, you we're not going to hit it all out of the gates at the right time. Like no, we're, we're no. in perfect conditioning. It's not. Right. But you know what? Build the muscle because we have been. You know, there are some belief systems that are out there, like that, like the fluoride in our at the dentist and their toothpaste and all that other stuff is blocking our pineal glands. You yep. know, and there's multiple things. And those of you who don't know what pineal. I, I just have this thirst for knowledge, so I'll have to apologize <laughs> that I'm like a walking encyclopedia of a bunch of stuff. Bring it on. Right. <laughs> but the pineal gland is cal calcified, and so that you're not tuning into your higher self. And, right. you know, Eastern philosophy, again, you go to Carolyn Mace, you know, it's your crown chakra. And it's like, when that's blocked, you can't get the information. And so right. it's about this unblocking so that, you know, we can start to get to more of this, you know, harmonic life that Absolutely. we're all starving and starving to live like we don't want to live in this suffering cycle anymore we just don't know how to get no. out of it no. and i would tell you from a financial perspective ma'am financially debt is the way you're going to keep yourself suffering so be super cautious about all these debt plans that are coming out to fix our financial stuff from the government beware that is not going to put you in the life that you desire yeah, well, so and, and, and again, for those of you who have just joined us and everything, um, I'm Julie Murphy, and I'm the author of Awaken Your Wealth and the Emotion Behind Money. And Nam? And I am Nam Bazakis, spiritual bodybuilder, and I have the Opportunity Community. And please uh, subscribe to my Instagram and my YouTube channel. And uh, go to my website, spiritualbodybuilder.com, and sign up for my Opportunity Community. Yeah. And, uh, that's I've that's got a few slots left, I think. I'll have to check again, but for the... Uh, for the four week transformational protocol that I'm doing in that community. So jump on it, super, super, super awesome. It's time for us to excel and experience life how we were meant to, all right? So again, juliemurphy.com and spiritualbodybuilder.com, we are here to help and we look forward to seeing you guys.